Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Got another video for you guys. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Now, the two brothers you see on this on this screen, one name is Sonetta, the other is Jabari El Saze. I'm going to give you a little background on these two brothers. Sonetta, he's a big YouTuber in the conscious community. He has a show, Sonetta Studio. It's very big, very well respected. His guest on the night that I called in was Jabari Osaze, another very intelligent brother who wrote the book, Seven Little White Lies. Now, Jabari's book, Seven Little White Lies, is the truth. If you haven't got your copy, please get one because it's a must read. Now, like I was saying, Sonetta was doing a show one night and he was allowing callers to call in and ask some questions. So let me play for you the questions that I asked these two very intelligent brothers. Do you know if the Moors themselves actually called themselves Moors? Hmm. You know, that's, 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 that's really debatable. Good that's debatable. But I'll tell you, no, yeah, that, no. Our people didn't really call themselves that. Really it was other people calling them more to, it was like to identify their race and who they was. That's what that was. They moors or something like that. But nah, man, we are African people. We are African, brother. Our ancestors called yeah. themselves Africans. And we could go back and Jabari could even show you the slides where they called themselves African. So, no, they didn't call themselves Moors. In fact, when you look at the historical Moors, they wasn't talking about no laws. They were fighters. They were they were killers. Mm. They was going up against the army. Mm. They wasn't sitting back writing no damn laws talking about, you got to don't call yourself black and you can't go by this. And we have our no, own no, national. Yeah, no, they I wasn't was, doing no, none of that. A... So, no, brother, we was not calling ourselves that. We were African people, brother. And we are African friend. people. He, you know, he likes to identify himself as um as a Moor. So I just, you know, I asked him. I said, "Yo, can you show me in writing somewhere where where these Moors actually called themselves? Where they identified mm. themselves as that? Not somebody mm. from the outside who's writing about them calling them that. I want you to show me them identifying themselves as Moors, and I, I can't find it anywhere." Well, mm. uh, you can find it um, this Saturday. I think I might put on a pair of my Maury shoes. You know what I'm saying? I got some Maury shoes. You'll find uh -oh. it there. I'll take uh -oh. it off and let you look in the inside. You'll probably see Maury. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. I, I, just, I, just got, I, got one, I just got one other question. Go ahead, brother. Um, just, just really quickly in response to the question you just asked, let me say uh -huh. to you that. Um, the, the challenge with finding um, the way that Moors refer to themselves is partially because whoo, that that's really loud is partially because um, when we refer to the Moors, we're talking about a group of people that uh, that actually were multinational. Exactly. Why this is kept? Many of them were multiracial, um, mm -hmm. and they they existed over a very long period of time. So. In some ways, what we're doing is we're collapsing a group of people under a term that they did not use themselves. Right. I really appreciate that some people are trying to go back to a time when people of African descent were um, a global people who were doing amazing things and teaching the large segments of, of the population of Earth. And I get why they're, they're connected to the Moors. But I think that sometimes when we try to describe who those great people were, we get a little bit sloppy with our descriptions. Definitely, because what I find in the reading is, you know, the Moors, oh, yeah, the great Moors who ran in Spain, yeah, they did this, they did that, they invented this, they did that. But when you look at the names that they're mentioning, they're Arabs. Yeah, <laughs> these people don't want to say there you Arabs go, brother. No more. There you go. So I'm yeah. like, what, what are y'all talking about? All the names, yeah, all the official names are Arabs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it doesn't make they're, any they're sense. Most there are multinational Islamic people for the most part, and also multiracial. Not every yeah. Moor was someone that looked like an African. 
Um, and so I think that we need to acknowledge that while there were certainly Africans that were prominent during the period in those groups of people that we consider more, they certainly were. I'm not saying they weren't African. I'm saying they weren't all African. Exactly. Um, we, we get really sloppy when we try to describe them. And, and that's, and, and I, I, I try not to beat up our brothers and sisters who are Moors unless they say something that I think really puts them out of the bounds, like we're, we're not Africans, that kind of stuff I, I go after them on. But the reality is they're trying to read, they're trying to put together our history, piece together a history that was kept from us as well. So, um, it's difficult. It's, it's not, it's not easy. I, I understand what they're trying to do, even though I think sometimes they need to be a bit more disciplined about the, the scholarship they're bringing to an understanding of history. Yeah, because I feel like with their scholarship, what they're trying to do is the same thing that Europeans did, and they're trying to rewrite everything as black, 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 black. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's not yeah. that quite simple because when you start naming wow. names, you're naming Arabs. Mm-hmm. So it just don't make any sense. But my second question was, my second question is also concerning them. These moors that were in Spain, do you know if they wore fezes? They wore and turbans. So, they know, wore turbans. Directed? Yeah, turban ain't a fez, though. I want right. to know if they wore fezes. Well, yeah. well, you can go back and you'll see some of them wearing them uh, the bucket hats or the fez, what they call it, the fez. Yeah, some of them had on fez, some of them had on the turbans. They was going back in and Spain? forth. In Spain? In Spain? Um, I, I, I don't know. I think the turbans in Spain. Ones. Yeah, all the images I see of, of Moors, and I haven't studied this exhaustively, I should say, this particular topic yeah. exhaustively. But I believe that most of those people we would consider Moors who are in Spain were often wearing turbans. The the fez is a hat that comes from us from the area around Turkey. And it was conflated with ancient peoples, ancient Islamic peoples who existed in the area. Um, and so there's some confusion around the fez as well. Um and I think that we need to be a bit more disciplined about how we describe those people that did amazing things that were also African. Um, and that, that's a challenge. All right. Okay, so, so thank you, you brother. Right. I appreciate well, it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, peace. Dear brother. Peace and black power, no Jabari. Thank you for coming through, brother. I appreciate you. Yep. All right. Yep. 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 Peace. So you got any closing brother, statements? Peace to the family. Yeah. It's all. Now you heard what these two intelligent brothers said about the Moors self-identifying as Moors and the Moors wearing fezes. We're talking about the ancient Moors, the historical Moors from Spain. Now, if you don't want to believe them, let's move on to some scholarship. Do you know if the Moors themselves This is an article I pulled. Author is Ross Brown. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Just read the bottom part. Recounting a history of the use uses of the term more, Ross Brand explains that Andalusi Arabic sources, as opposed to Major and Morisco sources in Algerido neither refer to individuals as Moors nor recognize any such group, community, or culture. Moor is a term applied from the outside by Europeans. Now, this article is about the Moors that invaded Spain, that ruled Spain from 711 to 1492. Now, as you can see, it says that, you know, certain sources, the 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 Arabic sources, there was no body in that they were referring to as Moors. So if there's nobody that they're referring to as Moors, how could they have self-identified themselves as that? Yet, Moorish Americans want to make the claim that these Moors that invaded Spain called themselves Moors, which is incorrect. I clearly just showed you that it says the, the term Moor was applied by the outside by Europeans. Now let's keep going. Now we know Moorish Americans 
they make the claim that they're descendants of Moroccans. So, and you know that they that they're Moors, and that's where they come from. Let's read this one. Strange as it may seem, this familiar word "more" is unknown in Morocco itself, save to Europeans, and cannot even be said to be derived from the name of the land which the Moors inhabit. Now, this was an author who spent some time in Morocco. The very place. Now, this is coming from the very place that these Moorish Americans say they come from, Morocco. So if the term isn't known by the inhabitants that inhabit the land, that right there tells you that they could not have called themselves Moors. They could not have self-identified as Moors. It's time to give it up. Hey, let's have a 